Introduction, Chasing Dreams in the City Lights In the heart of a quaint town named Willowbrook, where the days unfurled slowly, like the pages of an old, cherished book, lived a young woman named Emily. Her life, up until a particular sunny morning, had followed the predictable rhythm of small-town existence. Willowbrook was the kind of place where everyone knew everyone else, and dreams seemed to be confined to the borders of the town itself. Emily, however, harbored dreams far too vast for the confines of Willowbrook. She had always yearned for more, an existence beyond the horizon that stretched far beyond the town's familiar hills. Her dreams, like the elusive wisps of clouds in a limitless sky, were both her inspiration and her torment. The day Emily decided to pack her modest belongings into a well-worn suitcase and leave her childhood home behind marked the beginning of a remarkable journey. Her mother, a pillar of strength and wisdom, watched her with a bittersweet mixture of pride and sadness. Remember, my dear, her mother said, her eyes glistening with unshed tears, the world out there can be tough. But I have faith in you. With a heavy heart but an indomitable spirit, Emily set forth on an adventure, leaving behind the comfort and familiarity of Willowbrook to pursue the elusive dreams that beckoned her like distant stars. She had resolved to venture to the city, where the neon lights of ambition and opportunity blazed brighter than she could have ever imagined. The city that awaited Emily was Silverdale, a bustling metropolis teeming with life, ambition, and endless possibilities. It was a place where skyscrapers kissed the heavens, where the cacophony of traffic melded with the melodies of street musicians, and where dreams were born, tested, and sometimes shattered. Upon her arrival in Silverdale, Emily was engulfed by a whirlwind of new experiences. The tall buildings cast long shadows over crowded streets filled with a kaleidoscope of faces, each one harboring their own dreams and stories. The hum of city life, the hustle and bustle, were a stark contrast to the tranquil existence she had known in Willowbrook. In her quest for a foothold in this new world, Emily found herself in a humble apartment in a quiet neighborhood far from the neon glamour that characterized the city's core. To make ends meet, she secured a job at a cozy cafe, where the scent of freshly brewed coffee mingled with the aroma of pastries. It was a start, a modest beginning, but it was a start nonetheless. Her first few months in Silverdale were a trial by fire. Long hours at the cafe, Adapting to the fast-paced life and learning the intricacies of city vocabulary kept her on her toes. Each day brought a new challenge, a new lesson, and a deeper immersion into the city's way of life. In those early days, Emily felt like a novice linguist deciphering a foreign language. The city's vocabulary was a tapestry woven from the threads of ambition, resilience, and determination. Words like opportunity, ambition, and adaptation became her companions, guiding her through the labyrinthine alleys of urban existence. Emily, however, was not alone on this journey. She soon forged friendships with her co-workers and neighbors, who welcomed her into their diverse tapestry of lives. They introduced her to the city's vibrant culture, helping her expand her vocabulary in both literal and metaphorical senses. To further her journey, Emily enrolled in night classes, determined to enhance her skills and broaden her horizons. It was there that she met Daniel, a young artist with a penchant for seeing beauty in the city's chaos. He became a steadfast companion and together they embarked on adventures that opened their eyes to the myriad opportunities the city offered. As the months turned into years, Emily's hard work began to bear fruit. 
she secured a position at a reputable marketing firm, where her determination and the vocabulary she had acquired in the city opened doors she never thought possible. Her career began to ascend, and with each rung of the corporate ladder she climbed, a new word entered her lexicon, achievement. Daniel, too, was making his mark in the artistic world. His creations, born from his unique perspective on city life, began to gain recognition. He received an invitation to showcase his art at a local gallery, a moment of pride and validation for both of them. It was proof that dreams could indeed come true with unwavering perseverance. The city, with its relentless energy, threw challenges their way, but Emily and Daniel faced them head on. They stood by each other's side through financial setbacks, moments of self-doubt, and the overwhelming pressure that city life often brought. Their friendship deepened, evolving into a partnership built on mutual support and shared dreams. In time, their friendship blossomed into something more profound. Love, like a quiet whisper in a crowded room, crept into their hearts. Their relationship was a testament to their shared determination and commitment to each other. It was a love story intertwined with the pulsating rhythms of city life, where they found solace in each other's arms amid the chaos. Their journey continued, filled with trials and triumphs, but they never lost sight of their dreams. As they navigated their careers and love life, they discovered the importance of communication, trust, and compromise, essential components of a successful relationship. And now, as we embark on this seven-chapter journey, we follow Emily and Daniel through the chapters of their lives. Their story is a testament to the indomitable human spirit, to the pursuit of dreams against all odds, and to the power of love that can endure the challenges of even the most vibrant and demanding city. Join us as we delve into the chapters of their lives, where dreams take shape, challenges are faced, and love stands strong. This is a story of hope, determination, and the relentless pursuit of happiness in the midst of the city lights. Chapter 1 A New Beginning In the quiet town of Willowbrook, nestled among rolling hills and surrounded by dense forests, lived a young woman named Emily. She had always been known as the dreamer of the town, the one who gazed longingly at the horizon, imagining what lay beyond the confines of her tranquil hometown. Willowbrook was a place where time seemed to move at its own leisurely pace, where neighbors were like family, and where the most exciting event of the year was the annual summer fair. For Emily, however, Willowbrook was both a cocoon of comfort and a gilded cage. She often found herself yearning for the world beyond the hills that cradled her town, a world where opportunities stretched like endless roads under an expansive sky. The vibrant stories of adventurers and dreamers who had left Willowbrook to chase their destinies in distant cities fueled her imagination. As Emily packed her modest belongings into an old, weathered suitcase, her room was filled with nostalgia. She carefully folded her childhood memories, faded photographs, a cherished stuffed bunny, and a collection of handwritten letters from her mother, and tucked them into the suitcase alongside practical necessities. Her mother, a woman of both wisdom and grace, watched with a mix of pride and sadness, a familiar expression that mothers often wear when their children set out on their own. Remember, my dear, her mother said, her voice tinged with emotion, the world out there can be tough. But I have faith in you. Your dreams are worth chasing, no matter where they take you. Emily hugged her mother tightly, the embrace conveying both gratitude and the promise of return. 
With tears in her eyes and a determined resolve in her heart, she set off on a journey to the city, where she hoped to find her place in the world. As she walked away from the only home she had ever known, she couldn't help but glance back one last time, taking in the sight of Willowbrook, with its charming cottages and blooming gardens, knowing that her path was leading her away from its embrace. The journey to the city was long, marked by the changing landscapes that passed by her window like chapters of a book. Fields of golden wheat gave way to suburban neighborhoods, and eventually, the city's sprawling outskirts came into view. The transition was like stepping from one world into another, from the serene simplicity of Willowbrook to the bustling complexity of Silverdale. When she arrived in Silverdale, Emily felt like a small fish in a vast ocean. The city was a kaleidoscope of sounds, sights, and experiences. Skyscrapers reached for the heavens, their glass facades reflecting the brilliance of the sun. Cars and pedestrians flowed like a river through the streets their movement orchestrated by an invisible current of urgency and ambition. It was a sensory overload, a stark contrast to the serene simplicity of Willowbrook. Yet, beneath the initial overwhelm, Emily felt a sense of exhilaration. This was the world she had longed to explore, the place where her dreams had beckoned her. Emily's first task was to secure a place to live, far removed from the noisy heart of the city. She found a small apartment in a quaint neighborhood where tree-lined streets provided solace from the relentless pace of city life. It was a modest space, but it was her sanctuary, a place where she could gather her thoughts and prepare herself for the adventures that awaited. To make ends meet, Emily found a job at a nearby cafe, a cozy establishment with the comforting scent of freshly brewed coffee and the warm hum of conversations. She became a part of the cafe's tight-knit team, learning the art of espresso making and how to serve the city's diverse clientele. Her first few months were challenging, marked by long hours, unfamiliar faces, and the need to adapt to the fast-paced city vocabulary. Emily was no longer the dreamer gazing out of her bedroom window, she was now a city dweller, navigating a new world. Each day brought fresh experiences, new encounters, and a growing appreciation for the energy that permeated Silverdale. It was in these early days that Emily realized that the city's vocabulary was different from the familiar words and phrases of Willowbrook. Words like ambition, opportunity, and adaptation became her daily companions as she carved out her niche in the urban landscape. These words weren't just linguistic, they were a reflection of the city's spirit and rhythm. As Emily embarked on this journey of self-discovery and exploration, she couldn't help but wonder about the path that lay ahead. What challenges and adventures awaited her in the bustling city of Silverdale? Would her dreams find their place amidst the city lights, or would they be swallowed by the urban chaos? Only time would tell as she ventured further into the chapters of her new life. Chapter 2 A Humble Beginning Emily's arrival in the bustling city of Silverdale marked not only a physical transition but also a profound shift in the landscape of her life. Willowbrook's gentle hills and close-knit community were now distant memories, replaced by a cityscape of towering buildings and the constant buzz of activity. As Emily settled into her small apartment in the quiet neighborhood, she couldn't help but feel a mixture of excitement and trepidation. The city, with its ceaseless energy, 
was a stark contrast to the peaceful serenity of Willowbrook. She had left behind the comfort of familiarity for a world where every moment seemed to be in motion. Her apartment, though modest, became her sanctuary amidst the urban chaos. It was a place where she could retreat after long days at work, where she could reflect on her journey and plan her next steps. The sound of city life outside her window was a constant reminder of the vibrant, ever-evolving world that now surrounded her. To make ends meet in her new life, Emily had secured a job at a cozy cafe not far from her apartment. The cafe, with its inviting aroma of freshly brewed coffee and the soft murmur of conversations, became a haven of sorts. It was a place where she could earn her livelihood while immersing herself in the everyday interactions of city dwellers. Her co-workers at the cafe, a diverse group of individuals from all walks of life, welcomed her with open arms. They introduced her to the intricacies of the cafe culture and helped her navigate the daily rhythm of her job. As she served cups of steaming latte and plates of delicate pastries, Emily began to learn the city's vocabulary not just in words but in the shared experiences of those around her. The city's pace was relentless and the vocabulary of city life was multifaceted. It wasn't just about words and phrases, it was about adaptability, efficiency, and a constant willingness to learn and grow. Emily embraced this new way of life, recognizing that her journey was not just about chasing dreams but also about adapting to a world that was vastly different from the one she had known. Her first few months in the city were marked by long hours at the café, where she honed her skills and built rapport with the café's regulars. She soon became known for her warm smile and the ability to craft the perfect cappuccino. It was here that she realized that even in a bustling metropolis, relationships could be formed, and a sense of community could be found. Outside of work, Emily explored the city's vibrant neighborhoods, each with its own distinct character and flavor. She strolled through bustling markets, where the vocabulary of commerce echoed in haggling voices and the exchange of currency. She wandered through art districts, where creativity and self-expression were celebrated, adding new colors to her vocabulary. In the evenings, she often found herself in city parks, where the sounds of laughter and conversations blended with the rustling leaves of ancient trees. It was during one such evening stroll that she encountered a young man named Daniel, seated on a park bench with a sketchbook in hand. Their meeting was serendipitous, a chance encounter that would shape the course of Emily's journey. Daniel, an artist with an appreciation for the city's hidden beauty, saw something in Emily's eyes that piqued his curiosity. They struck up a conversation that flowed effortlessly, like two puzzle pieces finding their fit. As they talked about their dreams and aspirations, Emily discovered that Daniel shared her passion for exploring the city's myriad possibilities. They became fast friends, drawn together by the magnetic pull of the city's vibrant culture. Together, they embarked on adventures that would not only expand Emily's vocabulary but also deepen her connection to the city. In the days and weeks that followed, Emily's life in Silverdale began to take shape. The city's vocabulary, once foreign to her, started to weave itself into her daily interactions and experiences. It was a slow but steady transformation as she learned not only to survive but to thrive in the urban jungle. In Chapter 2 of Emily's Journey, we witness her transition from a small-town dreamer to a city dweller finding her place in the world. As she navigates the complexities of her new life, 
she will continue to learn the language of the city, building a foundation upon which her dreams can take root and grow. The humble beginning she has embarked upon is just the first step in a remarkable journey of self-discovery and adventure. Chapter 3 New Friends and Opportunities As Emily settled into her life in the bustling city of Silverdale, the kaleidoscope of experiences continued to expand her vocabulary and her understanding of the world around her. Her small apartment in the quiet neighborhood became a comforting haven, a place of reflection and rejuvenation amidst the constant hum of city life. The cozy cafe where Emily worked became not only her place of employment but also a gateway to new friendships. Her co-workers, with their diverse backgrounds and unique life stories, became her extended family in the city. They introduced her to the intricacies of city living, sharing their own experiences and offering advice on navigating the urban landscape. One of her closest friends at the cafe was a woman named Maria, a seasoned barista with a quick wit and a wealth of knowledge about the city. Maria had an uncanny ability to make customers feel at home with a warm greeting and a perfectly brewed cup of coffee. She took Emily under her wing, teaching her the finer points of coffee craftsmanship and the art of engaging with customers. Through Maria and her other co-workers, Emily began to unravel the complexities of the city's social fabric. She learned that the vocabulary of city life extended beyond words to include gestures, expressions, and unwritten rules. It was a world where efficiency and multitasking were valued, where adaptability was essential, and where the ebb and flow of daily routines created a symphony of life. Outside of work, Emily continued to explore the city's vibrant neighborhoods and immerse herself in its rich culture. She discovered hidden gems like the street art of the graffiti district, where vibrant murals adorned the walls and told stories of the city's soul. Each discovery added to her ever-expanding vocabulary, shaping her understanding of the diverse tapestry of life in Silverdale. It was during one of her evening walks in a city park that Emily's life took an unexpected turn. As she meandered along a cobblestone path, the warm glow of street lamps casting a soft light on her way, she stumbled upon a young man named Daniel. He sat on a park bench, a sketchbook resting on his lap, capturing the essence of the city with each stroke of his pencil. Their eyes met, and a smile exchanged, marking the beginning of a profound friendship. Daniel, an artist with a deep appreciation for the city's hidden beauty, saw in Emily a kindred spirit. Their conversations flowed effortlessly, like a river finding its course through a verdant valley. As they shared stories of their dreams and aspirations, Emily discovered that Daniel, too, had left behind a life in pursuit of something greater. He had come to the city to capture its essence through his art, to convey the beauty and chaos that coexisted in the urban landscape. His passion and creativity resonated with Emily, sparking a connection that transcended words. Together, Emily and Daniel embarked on a series of adventures that allowed them to explore the city's multifaceted identity. They wandered through bustling markets, where the vocabulary of commerce echoed in the lively banter of vendors and the exchange of goods. Emily's sense of wonder deepened as she witnessed the city's economy in action, where transactions of both currency and stories unfolded. 
Their explorations also led them to art districts where creativity knew no bounds. Here, Emily saw the city through Daniel's eyes, as he unveiled its hidden beauty with his sketches and paintings. Each brushstroke and stroke of the pencil was a testament to the power of artistic expression and its ability to capture the essence of a place. In the company of Daniel and her newfound friends, Emily's understanding of the city's vocabulary expanded further. She learned that the city was not a monolithic entity but a tapestry woven from the dreams, aspirations, and stories of its inhabitants. Each neighborhood, each street corner, had its unique dialect, and Emily was eager to absorb it all. As she embraced the vibrant culture of Silverdale and formed deep connections with her friends, Emily's life began to transform in unexpected ways. The city, once an intimidating maze of words and experiences, started to feel like a place she could call home. In Chapter 3 of Emily's Journey, we witness the power of friendship and the beauty of shared experiences. As she continues to explore the city's culture and connections, she will find herself on the cusp of new opportunities and discoveries. The urban landscape unfolds before her like a canvas waiting for her to paint her dreams upon it, and with each passing day, her sense of belonging in Silverdale grows stronger. Chapter 4 Facing Challenges Life in the city, with its dynamic energy and endless possibilities, was a captivating whirlwind for Emily and Daniel. They reveled in their newfound friendships, embraced the vibrant culture, and continued to explore the urban landscape with a sense of wonder. Yet, as they soon discovered, the city had its own share of challenges, and Chapter 4 marked the beginning of their journey through adversity. Emily's days at the cafe became increasingly demanding. The hustle and bustle of city life meant longer hours and more demanding customers. The cafe, once a haven of warmth and camaraderie, now felt like a battleground where time was a precious commodity. Emily often found herself multitasking, racing against the clock to serve a seemingly endless stream of orders. The city's vocabulary of efficiency and adaptation became more pronounced with each passing day. Emily had to learn to balance multiple tasks simultaneously, manage customer expectations with a smile, and handle occasional moments of frustration with grace. It was a test of her resilience and determination, and she met the challenge head-on. One particularly busy afternoon, a customer approached the counter with an impatient demeanor. Emily, despite her best efforts, couldn't prevent a minor mix-up with the customer's order. The woman's frustration was palpable as she voiced her displeasure, using words that stung like a sudden gust of wind. Emily took a deep breath, remembering the words of her mother about the toughness of the world outside Willowbrook. With a calm demeanor, she addressed the issue, rectified the mistake, and offered the customer a complimentary dessert as a gesture of goodwill. It was a test of her composure, but Emily emerged from the situation with a newfound sense of resolve. She had faced adversity and emerged stronger. Outside of work, life in the city brought its own set of challenges for Daniel. His artistic journey, though deeply rewarding, was not without its share of hurdles. The city's art scene was competitive, and recognition often seemed elusive. Daniel faced moments of self-doubt, questioning whether his art was truly making an impact in the bustling art world of Silverdale. Despite these challenges, Emily and Daniel remained steadfast in their pursuit of their dreams. Their friendship, 
built on a foundation of mutual support and shared experiences, became their anchor in the storm. They encouraged each other during moments of doubt, reminding one another of the city's unpredictable nature and the need to persevere. As the seasons changed in Silverdale, Emily and Daniel faced another challenge together, financial setbacks. The cost of city living was higher than they had anticipated, and their dreams often felt like distant stars in a cloudy night sky. They had to budget carefully, cut back on luxuries, and find creative ways to make ends meet. In the face of adversity, they leaned on the lessons they had learned from their friends and their own experiences. The city's vocabulary of determination and adaptability served as their guiding principles. They took on additional work, explored side hustles, and learned to appreciate the simple joys of life that didn't require a hefty price tag. Their relationship, too, encountered its share of challenges as they navigated the complexities of city life. Balancing careers, social lives, and their dreams required a delicate dance of compromise and communication. They learned to carve out time for each other amidst their busy schedules, recognizing that their love was a precious thread that wove their stories together. Despite the trials they faced, Emily and Daniel remained resolute in their belief that the city held the key to their dreams. They drew strength from the words of their favorite poet, who once said, the only way to do great work is to love what you do. With these words as their mantra, they continued to chase their dreams, knowing that every challenge they faced was a stepping stone toward their aspirations. Chapter 4 of their journey was a reminder that the pursuit of dreams was not always a smooth path. It was marked by adversity, testing their mettle and resilience. Yet, Emily and Daniel faced these challenges with determination and the unwavering belief that the city held opportunities worth chasing. As they stood side by side in the face of adversity, their love and commitment to their dreams only grew stronger. Chapter 5 Dreams Taking Shape After weathering the storms of adversity, Emily and Daniel's journey through the vibrant city of Silverdale took a significant turn in Chapter 5. Their dreams, once distant and elusive, began to take tangible form and the city that had presented them with challenges now offered the promise of fulfillment. Emily's career at the cafe had evolved in ways she had never anticipated. Her dedication to her work and the city's vocabulary of determination had caught the attention of her employer. She was offered an opportunity to take on more responsibilities, moving beyond the coffee counter to become a manager in training. This promotion marked a significant milestone in Emily's journey. It was a testament to her hard work, adaptability, and the lessons she had learned from the city. As she embraced her new role, she found herself learning the intricacies of business management, from inventory control to employee scheduling. The city's vocabulary of ambition and opportunity seemed to resonate within the walls of the cafe. Her career growth was not the only transformation taking place. Daniel's artistic pursuits were also gaining momentum. His work, which had once been confined to his sketchbook, now found its way onto gallery walls and into the hearts of art enthusiasts. His unique perspective on the city's beauty, captured in vibrant canvases and thought-provoking sculptures, had garnered attention and appreciation. One fateful evening, as Emily and Daniel were strolling through an art district, they stumbled upon a local gallery. Drawn by a magnetic force, they entered the gallery and were met with an unexpected surprise. 
The gallery owner, a discerning art curator named Isabella, had noticed Daniel's talent and offered him a chance to showcase his art. It was a dream come true for Daniel, and the prospect of having his work displayed in a gallery added a new dimension to his artistic journey. With Isabella's guidance, he prepared for his first solo exhibition. The city's vocabulary of creativity and innovation seemed to come alive as Daniel poured his heart into his art, creating pieces that reflected his deep connection to Silverdale. As Emily watched Daniel's artistic journey unfold, she couldn't help but be inspired by his determination and passion. Her own career continued to thrive, and she found herself taking on more responsibilities at the cafe, using her expanded vocabulary of leadership and management to drive success. Her promotion also brought financial stability, alleviating some of the earlier financial burdens they had faced. With their careers on the rise and their dreams taking shape, Emily and Daniel's relationship deepened. They became each other's biggest cheerleaders, supporting one another's aspirations and celebrating each milestone. Love, like a steady heartbeat, pulsed through their journey, grounding them in the midst of the city's whirlwind. Their lives were a reflection of the city's dynamism. Emily's days were filled with the rhythm of cafe management, while Daniel's were consumed by the creation and exhibition of his art. Together, they navigated the complexities of city life, from attending gallery openings to exploring new neighborhoods, always eager to expand their vocabulary of experiences. Chapter 5 was a turning point in their journey, a chapter of dreams taking shape and ambitions being realized. As Emily and Daniel continued to pursue their passions, they discovered that the city had not only challenged them but also provided the opportunities they had sought. It was a testament to their unwavering determination and the enduring power of dreams. Their story was a testament to the indomitable human spirit, the belief that with hard work, perseverance, and a supportive partner by your side, dreams could indeed take shape amid the bustling city lights. As they looked toward the horizon, they knew that their journey was far from over, and they eagerly anticipated the chapters that awaited them in the city that had become their home. Chapter 6 Navigating Love with their careers flourishing and their dreams taking root in the vibrant city of Silverdale, Emily and Daniel's relationship continued to deepen, evolving into a beautiful love story that unfolded against the backdrop of urban life. Their love was a dynamic force, much like the city itself. They had learned to balance their careers, personal growth, and their relationship, understanding that the city was both a playground of opportunities and a demanding stage for their individual aspirations. It was during Chapter 6 that their journey through love truly began. In the midst of their bustling lives, Emily and Daniel found solace in the small moments they shared. Whether it was stealing a quiet breakfast together before work, exploring new neighborhoods hand in hand, or simply savoring a cup of coffee on a lazy Sunday morning, their bond grew stronger with each passing day. The city, with its myriad experiences and vibrant culture, became the backdrop for their love story. Yet, like any relationship, there's faced its own set of challenges. The demands of their careers sometimes meant long hours and moments of fatigue. There were days when they found themselves juggling work commitments, social obligations, and their personal time together. The city's constant motion sometimes threatened to pull them in different directions. 
It was during these moments of tension and fatigue that Emily and Daniel learned valuable lessons in communication and compromise. They realized that a successful relationship in the city required open and honest dialogue, a willingness to listen, and a commitment to finding common ground. Their love, like a skyscraper reaching for the sky, needed a strong foundation. They discovered that their shared dreams and the unwavering support they offered each other served as the bedrock upon which their relationship was built. They encouraged one another to chase their ambitions, knowing that their individual successes were also the foundation of their shared future. In Chapter 6, they navigated the complexities of love with grace and resilience. They learned that love in the city was not about grand gestures, but about the everyday moments of connection and understanding. Their relationship was a testament to the city's vocabulary of perseverance, where the bonds forged in the crucible of challenges grew stronger with each obstacle they overcame. Their love story was not without its romantic moments as well. The city's vibrant culture provided them with opportunities to celebrate their love. They attended concerts under the starlit sky, danced in the glow of neon lights, and watched fireworks burst into a kaleidoscope of colors over the city skyline. These shared experiences etched cherished memories into their hearts and deepened their connection. As they continued to navigate love in the city, Emily and Daniel realized that their relationship was a reflection of their own personal growth. The city had not only provided them with opportunities for career advancement but had also been a classroom for life lessons. They learned that love required patience, resilience, and a belief in the power of partnership. Chapter 6 was a chapter of love in bloom a beautiful testament to the strength of their relationship amid the complexities of city life. Their love was like a beacon guiding them through the urban labyrinth, reminding them that, in the midst of ambition and dreams, there was always room for the warmth and tenderness that only love could provide. As they stood side by side, facing the city's challenges and celebrating its triumphs, they knew that their love was the anchor that kept them grounded. It was a love that had evolved and matured, much like the city itself, and it was a love that would continue to illuminate their journey in the chapters yet to come. Chapter 7. Full Circle. Chapter 7 marked a moment of reflection and realization for Emily and Daniel as they stood at the threshold of their journey through the city. It was a chapter of full circle moments and the culmination of their dreams, ambitions, and love story. Emily's career at the cafe had flourished beyond her expectations. She had not only mastered the art of cafe management but had also become a trusted mentor to new employees. Her journey from being a wide-eyed newcomer to a seasoned leader was a testament to her unwavering dedication and the city's vocabulary of growth and opportunity. Daniel's artistic endeavors had also reached new heights. His solo exhibitions had garnered critical acclaim, and his work had found its place in the hearts of art enthusiasts. He was now recognized as a prominent artist in the city, known for his unique perspective on urban life and his ability to capture its essence on canvas. As Emily and Daniel's individual paths thrived, their relationship continued to be a source of strength and inspiration. Their love had grown deeper with each passing day and they had learned to navigate the city's challenges together. They understood that their partnership was not just a complement to their ambitions but an essential part of their success. One evening, as they strolled through the city they had come to call home, they found themselves in the heart of Willowbrook Park, a serene oasis within the urban jungle. 
It was a place of familiarity and tranquility, a stark contrast to the bustling streets they had grown accustomed to. Standing beneath the shade of a towering oak tree, Emily and Daniel reflected on their journey. They marveled at how far they had come, from the quiet town of Willowbrook to the vibrant city of Silverdale. They realized that their dreams, once distant stars on the horizon, had taken shape in the city's dazzling lights. It was in that moment that they understood the significance of their journey coming full circle. They had left Willowbrook to chase their dreams, and in doing so, they had discovered a world of opportunities, growth, and love. Now, back in the town where it had all begun, they realized that their dreams had not led them away from home but had, in fact, brought them back to their roots. Emily's mother, who had supported her daughter's dreams from the very beginning, greeted them with tears of joy and pride. She saw in Emily and Daniel a testament to the power of perseverance and the pursuit of dreams. The small town that had once felt like a gilded cage now embraced them as they returned as conquerors. In Chapter 7, Emily and Daniel's journey had come full circle, and they understood that the city had not only been a destination but a transformative experience. They had learned the language of ambition, adaptability, and resilience, and they had found a deep and abiding love that had sustained them through it all. As they looked ahead to the future, they knew that their journey was far from over. The city would always hold a special place in their hearts, a place where they had grown, achieved, and loved. Now, armed with the wisdom and experiences they had gained, they were ready to face the next chapters of their lives, knowing that their dreams would continue to shape their path, wherever it might lead.